of Ashura and in the days of Muharram, days like this. And on the lands and on the soil of the land of Nainawa or what is called Karbala, there were two forces in front of each other. Two kinds of human beings. One who sold their souls to shaitan, sold their souls to the devil for hitam in a dunya, for a couple of dollars, or a cheap seat, a cheap kursi that will never last. Because no matter how big the kursi is, the chair and the position, you will die and the chair will be inherited by someone else. Ibn Kathir rahimahullah at Dimashqil Umawi, the Hafiz, the student of Ibn Taymiyyah, he mentions in Al Bidaya wa Nihaya, Khurujul Hussein, the exit or leaving Hussein, Hussein leaving Al Madina for seeking the leadership. And we obviously we respect Al Hafiz Ibn Kathir as a man, Allah bless him, rahimahullah. Lakin, excuse me, what kind of leadership does Al Hussein need to seek? Yani Al Hussein wants to seek a chair to sit on that Yazid sat on? A chair that is that Yazid is sitting on, which is floating on a river of the blood of innocent Muslims, and a chair that is built from the skeleton and the bones of the Muslims. That's not a chair that honors Al Hussein. Al Hussein has a chair in the heart of every mu'min till the day of judgment. Al Hussein has a kursi in your heart if you are a believer. Al Hussein and Minni, this is a hadith of Sahih, Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam tells us, Hussein and Minni wa ana min Hussein. Hussein is from me and I am from Hussein. If you love Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, you love Al Hussein. It's automatic. Huh? Al, Al Imam Al Hussein's message is much bigger than tears. Much bigger than tears. Al Imam Hussein was there to revive the deen of Allah. And he left us this message that you need to be vigilant. He wanted to wake up the pride within you as a Muslim that you should not live on your knees, that you should not take humiliation. He wanted to revive the consciousness that was sleeping in the people of the Ummah, that this is the deen of Rasulullah Let no one else tell you otherwise. It's not about tears. We're not when we, if we shed a tear, a tear on Imam Hussein, we're not crying on him. He is shaheed. He is succeeding in the dunya and akhirah. We cry on our own states and hal that we are so low, we're not learning from Al Imam Al Hussein's example. That's what we're crying about. And for those who try to marginalize Al Imam Al Hussein's message and dilute it, and they exert every effort and they bring all their shayateen from the jinn and from the ins, both. To help them suppress Al Imam Al Hussein and his message. I have only one hadith to tell you that Sahih, Fi Muslim, Wa Tirmidhi. I left you two things. If you hold on to them, you will never be misguided. The book and the itra. And the book mandates the Sunnah. So you're not saying we're replacing the Sunnah. No, no. Al Quran mandates the Sunnah and makes it obligatory. Bismillah ar Rahman ar Rahim. Ma atakum al Rasul, fakhudu. Wa ma nahakum anhu, fantahu. So if you don't believe in the Quran, you don't believe in the Sunnah. If you don't believe in the Sunnah, you don't believe in the Quran. Al Thiqal al A'adham is the book and the Sunnah. Wa al Thiqal al Akhar huwa itrati ahl bayti. You're trying to marginalize Al Hussein. You're marginalizing the Deen. Because the deen is what Al Hussein stood for, and he is the one we ought to hold on to, not simply abandon and dilute. For those Yazidi apologetics who think that the killed and the killer are the same, and the zalim and the mazloom are the same, and the thief and the one who was stolen from him is the same, and the raper and the, ra the rapist and the raped are the same. I got news for you: Islam came to ensure justice and equality, not to confer. 
uh, a, an official cover on all those tyrants and transgressors. Is Islam did not come to teach people to be humiliated. Islam did not come to have for people to be enslaved to their leaders and tyrants. But Islam came to free the most enslaved of slaves, to make the most enslaved of slaves masters. Because they are for the sake of Allah. Islam came to tell people, all of you are slaves of Allah. No one is better than the other except by taqwa. That's the message of what you say. Change it as much as you want. Bring all you have and all your armies and bring all the people who can write. Hire all the hired pens and hire all the papers and hire all the writers and all the TVs and everything that you want. Bani Umayyah were stronger and Hussein will always irritate the sleep of those tyrants. He will irritate them until today. When they hear about Hussein, they still shake. They don't want the name of Al Hussein to come. Why? Because he's the voice of freedom and haqq. You know where to hold on to. I leave you with this. Al Hussein is a long way to understand.